Hi, welcome back. It's Laura at Hyper Stamper. Okay, I know this looks like a total disaster here, but I have gotten quite a few requests on how I organize my ephemera because I do so many uh, themed journals and people are wondering how do how do you keep that all sorted? So I'm going to show you. I just put this here because um, I was going to show you how I sort my uh, crochet and my fabrics, but this is uh, just a bin I keep by my desk. It's all the little bits and pieces I can use and I, I cut those up freely. Now, for my themes, I really, honestly, it's this simple. When I pull apart a book, let me pull a book here for you. So say I was going to use this cover and pull apart the book. So I literally go through page by page and pull the pages out that um, perhaps have a theme to them. So this one looks like I've already been through this one quite a bit. Um, not the best example. So if I had a teeth folder, I'd put that in it. Or a dentist folder. Or a, uh, you know, a 1950s folder. I would put some of these in. This one I would put in my art folder. Um, school, family, that sort of thing. So I tear them out and I put them in the folders. So I'll show you some of the folders I have. I have an Edwardian folder. So whenever I, these are all uh, 1800s pieces and some postcards there that are from the Edwardian period. So when it's, uh, I know just by looking at it when I can have enough to make a journal. So this one, I just did a Victorian journal. It sold very quickly. It was just beautiful. But you can see I have all kinds of bits and pieces in there. This one, I'm going to do a sister's journal. This one's a little harder. But I do uh, collect things that remind me of sister relationships. And uh, so I would throw anything I see right into there. Again, butterflies, just a, a ton of different butterfly ephemera. I have one here for mothers. So when I'm ready, uh, these are very popular too. So I come across quite a few, but I don't want them all to be children things. So I try to get a variety of different maybe science books or art, or classical art. This one here is teachers. And this is cool because sometimes I come across antique books where the, the insides are fantastic, lots of different plates and good pages, but the cover isn't that interesting. So this one, I, I just peel off the fabric that's used on it and I'll slip that into a journal. Uh, D and J means it's um, from with Dick and Jane. That's one that's in there. Uh, so I put all my plates in here. This, Teachers one even has a little book uh, that will probably go in full swing into a, a teacher's journal. So all kinds of school things in here. Just like this one's actually ready. I could make one or two journal, teacher's journals there ready to go. This is my beach folder, one of my favorite folders because I love doing beach journals. I just acquired a few extra plates to go in here yesterday. And yeah, so all beach themed. And then I have a French themed one. And my biggest one, which I'm working on now, is this fairies. Um, so much fairy ephemera. And again, when I do a journal that's themed, I try to make every single page that theme. So this, I'm ready to make a fairy one here. Actually, I just got this on Sunday, like two days ago. And it is a 50 year old book and it's got these beautiful Cicely M. Barker prints in it that went out of uh, publication in 1924. So uh, pretty darn excited about that. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. So I'm going to do a couple of really beautiful fairy journals using those for the covers. Now, as for um, ephemera inside, push these out all right here. I think you can see this. Let me just see if you can see that. This is a basket here where I put uh, plates and I have a divider here. So I've got black and white plates on one side and I've got color plates on the other. Okay. And then every journal has plates in it. Um, I've got English countryside. So when I go to make a journal, I'll pull up maybe three black and white plates and one or two color plates and that goes in. And then I have this one here and these are inserts and they're all folded and ready to go. So I've got magazine pages, maps. Um, oh, these are so cool. So yeah, I could hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them ready to go. This was not an easy task getting these ready. It takes days and days and days of sorting and folding. And this here, I've got about 
20 of these different baskets and this theme here is all game cards. So I've got all my bingo cards in here that I collect, uh, game score cards. And then I also have vintage maps in here. Look at this cool one. Oh, yeah, so some of them I can't part with and also my vintage and antique Monopoly money and pieces there. So I could go on and on and on forever and ever because I have way too much stuff, but that's why my journals are always jam packed with, um, treasures from the past. So, uh, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, my email's below, email me directly. Thanks for watching. Bye.